Okay guys, so today is February 18th, 2020. Um, there has been some interesting developments in terms of um, what has been going on in Japan with the coronavirus. I'm going to do a case count um, with the countries of interest in Asia. Um, obviously there is uh, so many more cases worldwide being uh, confirmed. It's hard to keep track at this point and that's kind of tragic. So um, in Japan, we have 62 domestic including one death, and then 456 on the cruise ship. Um, in Taiwan, we have 22 and one death. Hong Kong, 60 and one death. Singapore, 77. And then South Korea with 32. Um, so overnight, we found that there are 99 new cases to be found on the cruise ship to be positive. That's still um, alarming. That's actually a lot compared to the early stages of this story where you found like maybe 20 people a day or something like that but they found 99 as of right now this is from nhk news and it says japan enters new phase of coronavirus outbreak the number of corona cases in japan has now reached over 500 and then we talked about how many from the cruise ship in tokyo the health ministry is scrambling to come up with measures to limit the outbreak, but infections continue to emerge in prefectures around the country. And then officials are struggling to identify infection routes. Um, like I said earlier, they said it's a new phase of the outbreak. Okay, so this is actually from Atlanta News, but um, CNN did report it, but I can't find the article anymore. But they're saying that Delta is contacting those who flew from Hawaii to Japan after the two um, two people were diagnosed with coronavirus. I didn't know that there were actually two people that got diagnosed, but um, in my last video I was talking about um, how this one person got um, confirmed with the coronavirus after visiting Hawaii. That was the only um, travel that she had done. So remember that is actually um, interesting. That is um, an example of how the new cases don't even have to be related to China anymore. So um, a really big thing that I found to be uh, very interesting in terms of what Japan is doing to combat the virus is the emperor canceling the annual public celebration of his birthday and that was reported by CNN. Um, a lot of people here respect the emperor and everything he does is usually a uh, big thing. His, public appearances are a big thing so like the British royal family but Japan but more modest and very low-key um, Japan's Imperial Household Agency has canceled Emperor Naruhito's greetings to the public on his birthday on February 23rd due to the new corona coronavirus outbreak this is the second cancellation of public greetings on the birthday of an emperor and then the last time was in 1996 during a hostage crisis at the Japanese embassy in Peru. So big deal. Um, they don't do this lightly. So that should say a lot about how Japan is trying to prevent the spread of coronavirus at all costs. There is a travel advisory. There are a couple of sources and a lot of hearsay about travel advisories going on. So Japan travel. Um, this was last updated on the 18th of February. This is wrong, actually. There's more people. 59 is what they're claiming, but you know. The, the number at this point doesn't really matter. So we shouldn't really look at the numbers at this point, but really of like what's going on. Please do take precautionary protection measures like any other flu, such as wearing a mask if you have a cough and washing your hands. And again, foreign nationals who have visited Hubei and Zhejiang provinces within 14 days of arrival in Japan or who have a Japan, uh, Chinese passport issued by these provinces will not be able to land in Japan except under circle, uh, special circumstances. So again, the only travel ban they seem to be having is these two provinces and that is still crazy that they haven't had a blanket travel ban. Even now, um, Thailand is screening those who enter through Japan and Singapore. Um, obviously, they're additional countries. They, a lot of countries anyways, it's um, pretty ritual now to screen those who come from China, but um, it, as we've seen the increase in amount of cases in Japan and Singapore, um, that 
means that the rest of the world seems to be growing more concerned about the spread of the virus in these two countries, um, rightfully so. Yep, Thailand to screen Japan, Singapore travelers. So yep, these two countries have among the highest number of reported cases outside of mainland China. The measure is being taken in response to the growing outbreaks there. Um, so in the beginning of this video, I talked about the countries of interest in Asia. Um, that would be outside of Japan, that would be Taiwan, Hong Kong, Singapore, and South Korea. Now, why is this significant in my opinion? Uh, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Singapore, and South Korea. I only mention those countries because uh, they are the four tigers of Asia. And what is the four tigers of Asia? Well, what are the four Asian tigers? The four Asian tigers is a reference to four nations in East Asia. All four economies saw high growth rates and made broad expansion particularly in the 1950s and 90s, but also through today. So they play a big role in the economic flow of Asia. And so when you see epidemics going on, particularly in Singapore and Hong Kong seems to be getting hit hard, um, that is a growing concern for the international community and the economy. They play a big role in it. And so does Japan. Um, Japan used to be one, but um, they they hit a recession. They seen a stagnant growth since the 1990s, so they were surpassed by these countries. So I would be on the lookout of these uh, cases in these uh, four other areas as well. Um, so in my previous video, I said that there was a Forbes article about the GDP decline. They were estimating it to probably be 3.2 to 3.8 percent. For the fourth quarter of 2019. Um, that was a strong underestimation and they have found that after Japan published their GDP stats that it was a decrease of 6.3 percent and mind you this is the fourth quarter of the fiscal year of 2019 so that means that this was before the coronavirus had any effect this is it before the existence of the coronavirus so Japan already seems to be struggling economically and I think that there will be even more bigger problems that will arise especially because Japan's economy is very tertiary it's um, reliance on trade and tourism mainly because they have seen a stagnant growth in other sectors of the economy global economy slows on back of coronavirus outbreak. So they talk about the GDP of Wuhan, the, sit, the center of the epidemic, nearly the size of Vietnam. That is a whole country. And we can see that it's been on the decline. Um, in terms of the rest of China, so Wuhan and Hubei province seem to be stagnant along with the rest of China anyways for the last couple of years. So that is not good news to begin with, but with, in addition to the coronavirus, I don't see um, it going up or anything anytime soon. Um, China announced that it has injected 1.2 trillion won worth of liquidity into the markets in an effort to keep the economy afloat. So that is a big deal that the government is scrambling to make sure that the economy doesn't fall down because not only will China's economy enter a recession, which is already at risk, many sources say even before the out outbreak of the coronavirus, but because with the coronavirus and the um, basically shutting down of major cities and the country arguably is going to have a lot of economic effects in a bad way. And this is Japan's GDP growth rate. As you can see, it was kind of doing good in 2018, seems to go on the decline on the beginning of 2019, and then by the fourth quarter, we're minus 6.3. So the effects of the outbreak isn't just limited to Asia, they are quickly spreading around the world. German, French, and US automakers have been forced to shutter operations in Wuhan. Um, NHK also suggested that crops imported from China, like green onions and scallions and carrots, have decreased. So that means that you will see an increase of, these, of the prices of these goods. Maybe they're not just limited to crops but that's what they are reporting right now at the moment so japanese firms expect epidemic to hurt business well that's not new so nhk asked 100 major japanese companies about the impact of the coronavirus epidemic and 81 respond that's a lot of people that's a lot of uh, cooperation many companies seem to appear to be concerned about the long-term impact of the epidemic 
Japan's economy shrank sharply, now comes the coronavirus, so big deal. What are they saying? Japan's economy has already been staggered by a devastating typhoon. Yes, they did last typhoon season and a wallet shutting tax increase. Yes, they increased taxes from 8% to 10%. Now the coronavirus has brought business in neighboring China to a virtual standstill and threatens to knock Japan into a full-blown recession. Wow, full-blown recession. If Japan's economy, the world's third largest after the United States and China, shrinks again after the first quarter of 2020, the country will officially fall into recession for the first time since a brief dip in 2015. A recession is generally defined as two straight quarterly contractions. So when the fiscal year of 2020, the first quarter comes out, then I guess we will see if Japan is falling into a recession or not. Mongolia is canceling their training in Japan with the Olympics coming up here soon, or if they are. So the Mainichi paper, Olympics, Mongolian archery team cancels training in Japan due to the coronavirus. They want to keep athletes in top condition. That is a big deal that um, one country is very willing to st uh, stop their participation in a um, Olympic training session and I don't and I don't think that Mongolia is going to be the only country that's going to do this as the situation unfolds. So that is a lot of news that we have covered in a short span of less than 24 hours. There is no reason to assume that inflation isn't going to occur and there is a halt of travels of of the traveling of goods from China, like we've seen with vegetables, that's what they're reporting, but that is not gonna only be limited to vegetables. So buy yourself some non-perishable goods, water, purified water, and anything that you might need um, because this is gonna get bad really fast. And once Japan sees an epidemic big enough, then the economy will further fall into a recession because the rest of the international community that participates with Japan on an economic basis is going to stay away from Japan like we've seen with China and that's why they're suffering the way they are right now. So that is all for today. Um, make sure you like and subscribe and we will see you guys tomorrow.